Hello everyone, this is MJ here at MJ Chandler's Corner. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, today I'm making a special batch of soap. It's going to be a double batch and it's being split between um, a loaf for my mom because my mom needs some soap and she has very sensitive skin she can't have any fragrances um, she's okay with coloring but when it comes to scents absolutely none and uh, the other part of the batch is going to go out to a friend of mine because she did me this really great favor uh, and she sent me some plants I'm an avid uh, gardener and so anytime anyone wants to send me plants and we do a plant swap, if I don't have plants to sh uh, swap with, I try to think of other ways like, how about some soap, right? And uh, this friend also has very sensitive skin, so hey, you know, if, if you've got sensitive skin and you don't uh, tolerate fragrances, then you've come to the right shop because I make soaps specifically with my mom in mind and family members, all who have skin sensitivities and issues like that so my shop's going to be one of the ones where you uh, buy soap if you have sensitive skin concerns you know or you don't like a lot of fragrances or if you're like a friend of mine who has a coconut allergy I, I make a uh, coconut free soap for her so then you've come to the right place so today is going to be pretty straightforward very very simple uh, I'm just going to kind of make them plain bars with maybe just two colors and no scent I actually have to make the bars kind of ugly it's, it's kind of a joke because uh, if they're too pretty my mom won't use them she will use them as decorations I, I kid you not so I kind of have to purposely make them ugly which is super hard to do because I'm just a little bit extra in everything that I do in life so so yeah that'll be hard <laughs> if I have any extras I will put them up in the shop uh, otherwise this batch is planned to go out to uh, two people already, but you're welcome to watch and hang out. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And here I have a very large batch of oils. I've put in my additives and I've got my lye water with sodium lactate in it. So I'll be straining that. And then I'm going to bring this batter to an emulsion maybe even a light trace. Put half of it in here and then just kind of texture the top. I'm thinking of making just kind of like some waves with the spoon. And then I'm gonna color the other half in a brown. And I like to use cacao powder for that because again, natural. And I know what color I'm gonna get. Sometimes when you do the other micas, you get a gray instead of a brown. Um, and then the top will just be very simple. Again, I got to uglify it. Otherwise, mom won't use it, right? Okay. If you have family members or friends like that, that you give them something nice and they don't use it because it's too nice, let me know. I would like to know if this is just my family. <laughs> All right, here goes in the lie. And I have my face shield on so that it's not splashing everywhere. And the funny thing with this face shield is it used to be, you know, only people making soap and may maybe in certain medical fields had the, the gloves, the masks, and the face shields on. And now everyone does. Um, so it's, it's kind of odd for me. I'll go into the grocery store and I'll see somebody, you know, in full gear with all of these things on. And I kind of, my first reaction is, oh, they're going to make soap. But um, no, that is not the case. Not everyone is dressed like that, is making soap. But it is kind of funny. I still think that they're going to go make some soap. All right, so let's just uh, mix this a little bit first by hand. And then I'll use the stick blender. And if you're wondering what the sound is in the background, it's basically, I've got two fans on because we're here in Florida and it is the 1st of May and it 
is super hot out. It's so hot that it's like already in the 80s. And I swear, it's, it's just like it's spring has just started, but we went right into summer. So it's hot. The workshop is hot. Blending here. I've got a stick blender sudden craziness. The button was sticking, couldn't turn it off. I was pressing too hard, I suppose. Got the button stuck in there. Luckily for me, I have two other stick blenders. So there's no shortage of stick blenders if this one finally the bucket. Find out later. So, not sure how much you can see. There's just too much to fit all in the same frame, but I think you can still see most of it. I think that might have been the piece of my blender. Okay, so this is looking like. Kind of like between an emulsion and a very thin trace. Okay, well I do want to split it in half, so there will be more mixing involved. And I think what I'll do is I'll mix the bottom one just a little bit more, because I want it to be thicker. So that I can texturize it and not have to wait forever. So let me grab one of these and I'm going to try to split this in half. Let's make this. Let's see here. Okay. That's about right. Pretty close. this one a little bit more so I can get thicker so I can texturize it sooner. The other one we're going to have uh, brown. So might as well start putting the cacao powder in it so we can settle in.
Hmm, that's a good brown. It's kind of um, like a hot cocoa. I like that. That'll work. Okay, back to this one. I'm going to thicken it up a bit. Hopefully my stick blender doesn't get all weird again. This actually looks pretty good. But uh, I want it to... There. We'll just do this controlled. So I want to kind of get it to where... It's a thicker trace, and when it's like pudding, is when I want to texturize it. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, I think I'll take that. Just gonna pour. Yep. Hopefully my hand wasn't in your way. Let me try pouring from a different direction here. Is that better? I'm right-handed, so sometimes I have my hand in the way. Sorry about that. Although I can do quite a few things with my left hand. I can hold two spatulas, one in each hand, and get them both stirring. And I can kind of hold other objects in my hand with or utensils. So, nowhere near ambidextrous, so. If you are new to my channel, I have a website where I sell all the soaps that I make. Uh, oftentimes I'll make soaps that don't go up in the shop just because I like to make soap. But uh, I don't sell every single thing that I make. But you are welcome to check it out. It's at mjshandlerscorner.com and if you sign up on the Soapy Insiders VIP list, it's an email list. I send a, a newsletter out fairly regularly and I give you special promos, discounts, sometimes I'll run a giveaway. Sometimes I'll collaborate with other makers and we'll do a joint giveaway. And uh, you're also welcome to hang out with us on Facebook. There is a Facebook group, also MJ Chandler's Corner, and it's for crunchy and scrunchy people, whether or not you use handmade soap or not. Okay, I think we've scraped this out pretty good. Let's kind of get that flat, get the arrow. 
don't think it's thick enough just yet to put texture on the top. Let's test. Yeah, not quite. So while that's doing its thing, let's mix our brown a little more. I'm going to get this out of the way. So if you are new to this channel, how did you find me? Let me know below. I'm curious. What were you searching for? Did I show up in your feed somehow because of something else you were watching? Was there something specifically that you were searching with keywords? I started making soap and wanting to put it online because originally my mission was to sell enough handmade soap so that I could donate a part of the profits to a local animal shelter. Um, I may very big uh, fan of cats of all things uh, I like dogs too my brother's got a dog so I have a fur niece but I really have a special place in my heart for cats those are my fur babies and um, there are a lot of homeless and abandoned cats in the world um, not sure why that is. Most of the time when people go to shelters, they're, they're looking for a dog. So it just seems to be that they have a, a lot of overpopulation of cats. And a lot of them live their lives out in the shelters. So it's, it's very sad. Um, but, you know, if, if we could raise awareness or if we could um, donate to help feed them and offer them shelter, it certainly helps because you can't take them all home. My first collection was an entire collection of soaps that I made from scratch with this type of cold processed soap and it was like about 10 or 11 different uh, cat shaped soaps. They actually look like cats, little cat faces, very cute. Uh, I thought it would take off. I really did. I was, I was thinking, wow, you know, so many viral cat videos. Uh, I figured, you know, raise the awareness, they would sell, and they'd be off the shelves. Surprisingly, though, that did not happen. Uh, even when I posted in cat groups on Facebook. Now, mind you, you're really not allowed to advertise, so you can't directly advertise, you know, but or like on Instagram on some of the popular hashtags I didn't seem to find a whole lot of interest in people wanting um, handmade soap in the shape of cats that totally baffled me I didn't understand it because um, you know cat lovers buy a lot of cat things you know mugs shirts everything and so uh, I, I figured they would who wouldn't want to buy uh, a handmade bar soap in the shape of your favorite cat, right? If you ever check my website, you'll see what I mean. I still have some there. Um, I'm actually not continuing the line because I don't really see a whole lot of uh, demand for it um, or interest, which again, like I said, that surprised me. But you know, if that ever changes, I'll be glad to, to restock it because they are fun to make. Um, and not a lot of people make cat soaps because it's a lot of work, let's face it. 
you know. Um, some of the very popular soap makers, you know, the ones where all their soaps sell no matter what, maybe they'll make one cat soap and, and it'll sell because they were already popular. But as far as, you know, making a whole line, they don't do that. You know, I did that, but um, it didn't take off like I hoped. So in an effort to try to appeal to more people, since, you know, the goal is to make sales so that I can donate to these groups, I guess I got to make stuff that's more, uh, I don't know, in line with most people, I suppose. But I hope one day that'll change and I can go back to making and probably being the only person who makes an entire line of cat soaps um, because, you know, that fits in more with the vision, you know. Um, so I'll have to make other soaps instead, you know, and, and when there's profits, I'll donate a, a portion of that to the animal shelters, local animal shelters. That's starting to thicken up. It's not quite doing the dip thing that I want. It's got to get a little thicker, but we're getting there. If you can see that. So what other soaps do I make then? Well, I made a holiday collection, so holiday themes. Um, also seasonal, so whatever doesn't fit in a particular collection, if it fits in the seasonal collection, it'll be there. Uh, once in a while, I'll do a limited collection of just something fun. I love to work with color, so there's a bunch of soaps that are just very colorful. And since I am dealing mostly with people that have sensitivities, uh, I try to keep the soaps light and scent or unscented. So if you're looking for unscented or very light scents, again, then my shop's where you're going to want to go. Recently, there was a request for more plain soaps. I, I didn't do plain soaps in the beginning because I felt like, you know, there's a lot of soap makers and they can all make soap and we can all do plain soaps. So I figured I, I wanted to be different, you know, uh, make colorful stuff, fun stuff. The funny thing is I get a lot of comments that people say, like, the soaps are too pretty or they're too de you know, they're too, uh, I don't know, decorative. So then they don't want to use them because they're, they're too pretty, which is kind of funny, but I get it. You know, but the soaps are meant to be used, uh, although you could certainly use them for decoration as well. But, you know, they do have a, sh they kind of have a shelf life if they have a scent. You know, the scent doesn't last forever, so you really should use them. And they're all made with natural oils and butters, so... You know, there's no preservatives, so you really should use your soaps within six months. I mean, they'll last for longer, but, you know, the scent and the, the color can fade or change color. So I am waiting for that to thicken up. So I may stop talking now because I may have to fast forward through this later to get to the point where I can texturize that.
This looks so yummy. <laughs> it looks like ice cream. I feel like I have a uh, vanilla and chocolate ice cream and I've been craving ice cream since yesterday because it's been so hot here uh, in uh, Sunnyside, Florida. That I think after this, I am gonna go and go get some Napolitan ice cream. <laughs> All right, so since this is gonna be a double batch, I'm gonna flip it this way so you can see. And we're just gonna basically design the top, figure eight, uh, two sides, because I'm gonna use a log splitter and cut it through here. And then that'll be it, it'll, it'll cure. So this is gonna be halfway down this way. I'm pretty much just gonna need to eyeball this. And here we go. So that's gonna be one. And there we go. For me, this is pretty plain and simple. I don't really know if it qualifies as an ugly bar because like I said, I, I don't know if I'm capable of doing ugly bars. Um, it's just not in my nature. I'd have to try pretty hard. <laughs> but there we have it. I don't know what to call this. Chocolate and vanilla? Maybe. It does have the cacao powder in it. Unscented and going off to some very special people. So thanks for hanging with me. Um, it's been a while since I did a longer video. And if you wanna see more, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'd love to get to know you. Subscribe to the channel if you want notifications. And if you have a channel, let me know. Um, I am unlisted on my subscribers. So if I subscribe back to you, you won't know because it'll show up as like incognito. But um, don't let that stop you. Okay, bye for now.